Hey there, foods. Mr. T here, and I just want to quickly talk about some things going on in the world of Nintendo currently. So let's get that started. First up, we have Seasons of Heaven, the indie game. It's supposed to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive coming, and they put out a trailer. I think people are going a little bit overboard with um, their adulation. It does look pretty cool. Um, anytime you give me a atmospheric i guess kind of puzzle game i'm gonna get excited for that i love puzzle platformers puzzle games uh probably starting with mist way back in the day maybe when did that come out like 1995 on pc and then uh, i got it on sega saturn as well anytime you give me something like that um kind of mysterious world i'm all in for it and this looks to be something like that kind of a looks like a companion type of game too in the line of last guardian on uh sony playstation 4. Uh, obviously it's a uh, indie title it needs work the animations are definitely a little wonky for sure but you know i'm gonna cut it some slack because like I said, it's an indie game and it's pretty ambitious. I'm looking forward to a puzzle game set in the atmospheric world. So yeah, that's uh, my take on that. Now, next up, I wanted to quickly talk about uh, ukulele being canceled on Wii U. I've actually talked about this in the Juices Loose podcast. Uh, shout out to the crew. Like I said in the podcast, I'm a little surprised uh, because it did have a team set aside just to do the Wii U version. Even Nintendo hasn't put out a major title on the Wii U for a while, and by the time this game comes out, which is April of 2017, the Wii U will be pretty much completely dead. I understand completely. I know it's kind of a little bit of a PR spin uh, as far as the technical issues, but I understand why. As long as it's coming out on the Switch, I'm pretty happy. All right, and for the last bit of discussion, uh, I just wanted to quickly talk about the outrage over supposed specs of uh, the Nintendo Switch. I'm not gonna get into what was said. You can go check all that stuff out yourself, Digital Foundry. I just don't understand Nintendo fans at this point. Nintendo has gone through cycles. They've gone through generations where they talk about not caring or not going and fighting the battle of the spec wars or caring about that stuff. They care about unique content, bringing their games and their unique hardware, and that's what they're gonna focus on. And they say this over and over again, and Nintendo fans, for whatever reasons, get geeked up by spec channels, by rumor channels, and they set themselves up for despair. This is not what Nintendo has ever been about. Um, obviously, they have had powerful or on-par consoles in the past, but that was just a you know an outcome of the times. We live in different times now. They want to focus on um, what Nintendo has always been about, which is unique, fun gameplay, just great games, great IPs. As a Nintendo fan, that's all you should really care about. As long as the developers are saying they're supporting it, and a lot of developers who've never supported Nintendo are saying they're very excited about the Switch and supporting the Switch. As long as that's happening, I don't know why people even worry about this stuff. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about these topics in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. <laughs>